Hey, what's up guys? Chopping Gaming here. Here I am with Final Fantasy Realm Reborn. Now today we're going to look at the Pugger List. Now this is a martial art guy. Uses fist weapons to punch them in their face. It's a DPS class and it looks pretty good as well. Now in this video, I got him up to level 10. And I want to show you the skills and the rotations. So you guys will know exactly what you're dealing with. Whenever you get this game, you'd be like, hmm, I know how this looks like. I know what kind of rotations there are. I know what I'm going to be expecting. This class is all about maintaining your stats, maintaining your buffs. You know, you change three forms and you have to try and, you know, maintain your buffs. So doing a rotation and doing your moves to maintain some kind of buff to make you more powerful. If you be able to do that, you are going to be very, very good. I mean good. First move is Boot Shine. This is level 1. This is your starter. It does 130 damage. Now, critical damage if dealt from behind the target. So the best things to do is go behind the target and use this move. Then, you change your form to Raptor form. Oh, yes. Alright, once you got your Raptor form, you'll be able to use True Strike. Now, True Strike does 150 damage, so it's better than the Boon Strain. And, it increases your critical damage by 5% if you hit the target from behind. Now, it's a bit difficult when you're soloing because they always turn against you. But, um, if you're in a dungeon, then this is going to be so powerful because there's going to be a tank that is taking all the hits. You gotta go behind the target, and you're good to go. After that, you be changed into coral form, and I'll tell you that in a sec. All right, guys. Next up is level four, Featherfoot. It increases your invasion by 15%. So you'll be able to dodge. So, you know, if you... The best time to use this is when you know that you are going to get hit. Or someone's going to do their special moves. This is the good time. You know, it's always good to dodge stuff. Use this as much as possible. It's very good. It's so handy. Level 6, you'll be able to unlock Snap Punch. It does 140 damage, but it does 180 if you use it from the flanks or behind the target. So it's pretty good. It can get that 180 damage. That's quite powerful indeed. Plus, it changes you back to Uber Uber form, which means you'll be able to use Boonshine again so you can do your rotation all again. So the True Strike, then the Snap Punch. But the beneficial thing is, if you do use the Snap Punch, you're going to get Glazed Knight Lightning, like, buff. That's where you're going to get extra buff. And the buff would increase your damage by 7%, and your attack speed by 5%. I mean, who don't want that? You have to have that. If you do not have that, you are gonna, not, not going to do that much damage. I mean, that's a percentage. Percentages are always good to have. So... The rotation is Boonshine, then True Strike, then Snap Punch. Then keep doing it, and you are good to go. You'll be able to maintain your buff at all times. Then, oh my god, no one's going to be able to stop you. But don't forget, this is for level 10 rotation. I mean, there's going to be other moves here that I'm going to show you later on. I'm not going to explain it too much. I'm just going to show you so you guys can read it at home. But... I am going to say that some moves that you are going to unlock later on probably would change. Like, like, let's just say, example, right? The Twin Snakes, I might change this for True Strike because it is both of them use that Raptor form. So, because I haven't used it yet, I don't know exactly how it's going to be. 
but I'm getting, I'm having a good guess that we might be able to change some kind of rotation for situational situations. Oh, oh yeah. All right, at level eight, we unlock second wind. Second wind is the ability where if you're taking damage, you click this button and you can get your health back. It's just simple as that. I'll probably show you the, the effects uh, when I'm taking some damage later on. Okay, let's see what we can. All right, let's let's kill this froggy, you fat froggy. Let's do this. All right, this is the rotation, guys. So, because I can't go behind it, well, I can right now, but you know, it is gonna turn anyway. So, boon shine. You press boon shine, then your level, um, your true strike will be unlocked. Use your true strike, and now the snap punch will be unlocked. Use the snap punch it's like a little punch in his face, and now we have got the glazed lightning. Now we are going to do more damage now. So we're going to do our rotation again. And as you can see, that is more damage than before. So it's pretty good. Oh shit. Oh shit, you did not attack me. You did not attack me. I'm going to use my feather foot to give me evasion. So we're going to be able to dodge some of the attacks that he's going to be doing. And as you can see, I am keep uh, maintaining my buff. That, that lightning thing that you see around me that is that buff as you can see it drops and now got it back again so you want to maintain that buff as much as possible i mean actually as always if you can and there it is that's the that's the rotation guys for level 10 and always do that and probably later on you know once you unlocked other skills you're going to be using them for situational bases but for level 10 wise that's the rotation Oh yeah. Now the last move that you get at level 10 is Haymaker. It does 170 damage. Now that is quite a lot of damage. That is quite a lot of damage. But you, you know, it's going to be grayed out. It's going to be grayed out. The only way you're going to be using this weapon is when you evade an attack. Now, if I use Featherfoot, which gives me the evasion, I'm going to be able to use this quite often and that's going to be good for me so use feather foot and you know you'll be able to use the haymaker i mean if you, you don't have to use the feather foot to get the hay up because sometimes you know you'll be able to dodge it yourself but i would recommend feather foot for the haymaker so that you can get more damage in there and not even that it does additional effect is slow 20 percent slow so this is like situational as well. I won't use this in my rotation, to be honest with you. I won't use it because it kind of messes it up. But if there's situations where, a, let's just say in PvP, you know, slow is the best, is, is your best friend. Slow is your best friend. You know, people are going to run around and, you know, put a dot on you and stuff like that. You know, you're going to be chasing them. Put this, put this haymaker on them and they won't go anywhere. And things that run away. You know, things that run away, use this and you're good to go. And let me just show that in action so you guys can see exactly. Oh my god, are you are you serious? Alright, alright, cool. So I'm going to use my invasion. And hopefully that will give me a nice dodge. Come on, dodge it. Do your thing. Come on, hit me. Hit me. Why, why you not hit me? Thank you, I dodged. You see that dodge? Now I use 9 and I'll do a kick and I'll punch in his face. Hopefully we can dodge again. Let's just, just, let's just kill him. Get on my nerves now. Get my lightning strike. There we go. Let's, let's, let's see if we can get that punch again so we can see. Oh my god, I can't even target. What's going on? Uh, I'm going to wait for him to punch me. Let me see if I can get a dodge. Drain life. That's no good. Let's heal up. You see that? The feather foot, it works perfectly with the haymaker. I mean, we could get dodge later on when we are at high levels, obviously. But yeah, it doesn't seem to get it. Okay, cool. We dodge, we dodge. Okay, number nine. We are going to press it. So, a kick and a punch. And then now he's slowed.
doesn't even look like he's that slowed, right? But, you know, this is the early access and stuff like that, so who knows, it might be effective, but it, it feels like it's still the same. But it is slow. So, that's it. And let's see what's the last move. Last move, obviously, we got sprint. You know, we can press sprint and we can go around. So, yeah. Alright guys, that's it for me. That's it for showing you guys level 10 skills. Um, you guys can pause this if you want to see exactly what these ones do. I'll just go hover them like this. There's going to be quite a few burst damages as well and buffs as well that's coming on our way. So it's, that's good. There's some silences as well. Like an AoE silence as well. Really, really effective. So yeah. That is all the moves for the who, who, who do this? Oh my god, what's going on? And uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, come get this video a like. I'll probably do some more after this. And so yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.